I'm very well. How are you, Mr Hastings? Yeah, very good. Good to see you, Katie Durham. And Katie is of Radio 3 re most recently, having done lots of things. Your, your mum was a teacher, I believe. Yep. And you're very local. You're not quite in the next uh, in the next village, but you're pretty close to us. Yeah, I and think I've, I've done the drive in seven minutes, I think, Harry. So, uh, yeah, I think that makes me local. That was really good. And, and we were going to welcome you to be our presenter on the stage at Glyndebourne. But unfortunately, we've had to put that back by a whole year. But we'll see you next year, if not before. Yes, I'm sure you'll see me before then. You can't get rid of me. I'm like a bad penny. Keep on turning Fantastic. up various musical events. No, well, that's brilliant. Well, listen, we're going to give you a cook. And of course, you adjudicated our, our, our Interhouse music last year. Anyway, Katie, we have got you've got four minutes HQs right. with me and the tie, usual questions like last week. And um, do you want me to shuffle or are you happy with how it goes? I have faith, Harry. You Just have go. faith. OK, here we go. Four minutes starts now. Are you a spender or a saver? Oh, I'm a spender. Are you? OK. Would your husband agree? Uh, what foreign language would you like to learn and why? I would like to speak Italian well because I can't speak it at all and I think it makes everybody who speaks it sounds glamorous and it would be very helpful to be able to pronounce all those opera arias as well. Yes of course so buongiorno and all that yes exactly. Uh, when was the last time you apart from chatting to me obviously but when was the last time you laughed lots? Ha, uh, I laugh a lot with my daughter Eleanor who is uh, online schooling like everybody is at the moment we laughed in fact just about an hour ago as she was uh doing online registration and trying to hide the fact she was eating fried egg on toast okay i will not tell her school and remember <laughs> i did teach her so i know what she's like um what have you not done yet that you want to do learn to play jazz piano every year it's my new year's resolution and i still haven't done it i've got to, i've got to crack on if i can't do it now when will i do it eh? but you're a good pianist and you play the violin as well don't you I do. I like I play a lot of music, but um, but I never practice enough. And that's a lesson for you all listening. Get, do more yes. practice and then okay. you'll play the stuff you love. Yep. Fantastic. Back to the questions. If you meet someone famous, if you were to meet someone famous, who would you who would you choose? Oh. That's a really good question. Can they be dead? I mean, yeah. Can it be oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'd really like to meet Mozart. That would be cool. OK. I'd really like to have met him because he was. OK. Proper. Yes, slightly crazy man as well. Yes. Uh, what can we do to help the environment? Eat local, grow local, don't go on too many long haul flights. Nice. OK. Uh, Favourite restaurant? <laughs> Got to be Leon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know them. Fantastic. Sounds brilliant. If you had to sing a karaoke song, um, what would you what would that be? Oh, um, I always seem to revert to the Proclaimers 500 miles because oh, everybody nice. knows the chorus. Yes. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Da, oh gosh, we're halfway through. What's your favourite drink? Oh, pink wine. I love okay. a glass of rosé, especially when the sun's yeah. out. Yep. Yeah, didn't know that. Uh, if if you could live in any country, where would that be? Would that be Italy? Uh, Italy Apart from would England. Be good, that's for sure. Um, I love Brazil actually. I've been to Brazil quite a few times. My dad was okay. born in Brazil, and uh, I spent three months there when I was a student, and I love it. Full of happy people, and it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful country. OK, nice. There's further, yeah, further questions there. Uh, but slightly but topic tangent here. What's your favourite theme park ride? <laughs> do you know what? I don't really like roller coasters at all, but I do like the log flume. I like okay. the log. I do. Thought park log flume. What's the craziest thing you've ever done on holiday? <sighs> I've done quite a lot of extreme sports on holiday nothing that I, okay. I'm a quite a scaredy cat to be honest Harry so I don't really do anything that I think is kind of super crazy but yeah I mean I've done a lot of all night dancing <laughs> That's, it's not really crazy just bring part, on a, part of the on territory on Cucabana Beach <laughs> okay we've got 45 seconds what subject should we taught at school oh well obviously music I think everybody should sing or play in a group at some point I think it's the best thing you can do community spirit makes you feel good, gets the endorphins and it helps you learn. Fantastic. That's for you, Mr. Smith. That's for you, Mr. Stafford. If you were a time traveller, where would you choose to travel back to? You can't go forward, only back, I'm afraid. And we've got 20 seconds to go. OK, uh, I would probably go back to the Tudor court to see what Henry VIII was really like. Nice. Yes, I, I would be there or um, Jesus. Um, but this is not about me. And last question. <laughs> what item could you not live without? And you can't talk about your husband. It's got to be uh, an item. Um, all my kids. Uh, I would always want a piano. 
I'd always want a piano okay. in the room. Fair enough. That's four minutes. HQs. Thank you. Katie, any message for our, our prep school pupils? Oh, like? look, I just want you all to just make the most of this time. Enjoy being with your family. Stay safe. Do lots of stuff that you normally we wouldn't have time for. If you're a musician or even if you aren't, do a bit of practice. It's really good fun to play with other people. And you can at the moment, in fact, you can join the BBC Lockdown Orchestra. This is me doing a little plug. Um, go to the BBC website look at the Get Creative page and you can upload yourself playing along with the BBC orchestras and that would be, I think, a really good little project for lockdown. Fantastic, Katie, that's wonderful. We can listen to your afternoon show on Radio 3 at? Five o'clock this week. It's either Fantastic. me or another presenter, but this week it's me, uh, five till seven on Radio 3. Fantastic. Katie Durham, thank you so much. We will see you and speak to you soon. Take care. Bye. Lots of love. Thank you, Katie. Bye. <laughs>